In the last lecture, we learned how to read JSON data and how to convert it into a JavaScript object. So in the app.js here, we are reading this products.json file and then we are converting the JSON data which we have read from this products.json file into a JavaScript object using this json.pass method. And then we are assigning that JavaScript object to this products variable. And when we are logging this products variable here, you will notice that a JavaScript array has been logged here. And inside that array, we have those JSON objects as a JavaScript object. And each object here represents a product. And we want to display these products in the web page whenever the user navigates to root URL slash products. Currently, when the user types root URL slash products in the address bar, we are showing this response, you are in products page. But instead of showing this response, we want to show the product list in the web page. Let's see how we can do that. For that, the first thing which I'm going to do is inside this template folder, I'm going to create a new HTML file. I will call this product list.html. And inside this HTML file, I'm going to write some HTML. And in order to save some time, I have already written that HTML. So let's copy it from here. Let's go to VS Code and let's paste it inside this product list.html. Let's move this terminal a bit down. Okay, so this is the HTML content for this product list HTML. Now let's go ahead and let's read this product list.html file from our app.js. So again, here I am going to create a new variable. I will call it product list HTML. And again, I am going to use this FS module. And on that, I will call read file sync to this. Let's pass the path of the file. So here I will say root directory. So dot slash, then we have to go to this template folder. And inside that template folder, we have product list.html. Okay, let's also specify the encoding, which is going to be UTF-8. So this product list HTML, it is going to store the HTML content of this product list HTML file. So basically this HTML content. Now let me show you how this HTML content will look like in the web page. So let's copy this variable here. And here, when the user types the root URL or the root URL slash home, there we want to replace this content with this HTML content, which we are storing in this product list HTML variable. With this, let's save the changes. Let's stop the server by pressing Control C and let's start the server again. And now let's go to the web page. And here, when I type root URL and when I press enter, you will notice that a product detail has been shown here. Let me zoom out this web page. Okay, so a product list has been displayed here. And currently we are hard coding these values. So if I go to that HTML file, this product list.html file, we are hard coding these values. But what we actually want is we want to loop over this product array and for each iteration in the product list.html file, we want to use the properties of the product object. So for example, if I scroll up here, we have a product object logged in the terminal. So here, instead of this hard coded value, I want to use product dot name instead of this model number. I want to use product dot model number property. Okay. But currently we are hard coding those values. So first of all, from the app.js, let's get back the previous code. So in the homepage, we want to display your in homepage. And here on this product array, I am going to use map function. So we can use map function to loop over an array in JavaScript. And for each iteration, we can transform the elements of that array. So here I am going to use this map function. To this map function, we need to pass a callback function. And this callback function is going to receive the current element from this array for each iteration. So I will simply call it prod. Now, I will go back to this product list.html. And as I mentioned earlier, instead of using these hard coded values, we want to use the properties of the product object, which we are going to receive inside this product parameter. So here I am going to use some placeholders and for the placeholder, again, I will use a set of double curly braces inside that I will use percentage and then I will set a name here. So here I will say the placeholder is name in the same way. Let's do the same thing for model name, model number and other properties. So here I will say model name. And actually it should be model number. So model NO I will say 
here this is the model name so here i will say model name here i will use the name placeholder so here we want to display the product name in the same way let's also use size placeholder here here let's use the camera placeholder here let's use the price placeholder because here we want to display the price here let's use the color placeholder and then we also want to display the image of the product so to this source attribute we are going to specify a placeholder and there i will name this placeholder as image and in the app.js for each iteration we are going to replace this placeholder with the properties of that product object so here what i'm going to do is inside the body of this callback function let's create a variable let's call it maybe output and to that output let's assign this product list html and in this product list html we want to replace some placeholders so to this replace method first we need to pass the value which we want to replace let's say we want to replace this placeholder with product image property of that product so we are receiving that product object inside this prod parameter and on that we are going to have this product image property okay so in this output variable we will have the same html but in that html this image placeholder has been replaced with the value of this product image that means this string value now on that updated html which we are storing in this output again we are going to replace something so again i will say output dot replace and now let's say i want to replace this name placeholder with the name of the product so we are storing the name of the product inside this name property so here i will say prod dot name and we are going to assign this result back to this output variable itself so now in this output variable this image is replaced with the value of the product image property and this name placeholder is replaced with the name of the product now let's go ahead and let's do the same thing for other placeholders so i will pause this video here and i will replace these placeholders with the property values of that product let's go to app.js and let me do that Okay, so here I have replaced all the placeholders which we have specified inside this product list.html with the properties of that product. Finally, let's go ahead and let's return this output from here. And once the map method has finished iterating over this products array, it is going to return a new array with the transform data. Let's go ahead and let's store that new transform data into a variable and let's call it product HTML array. And now let me go ahead and let me log this product HTML array. So when the user will make a request to this root URL slash products, first we are sending this text response and then let's also go ahead and let's log this products HTML array just to check what it contains. Let's save the changes here. Let's stop the server by pressing control C and let's restart the server. And let's go ahead and let's make a request to this products page. So in the response we see you are in products page. Let's go to VS code and here you will notice that some string has been logged here. Let me move this terminal a bit up. Okay, so basically here you will see that we have an array. So here you can see we have an array because it starts with this opening square bracket. And in that this HTML is the first element. Then we have a comma and then this HTML is the second element of that array. And if you notice in these HTMLs, these values are replaced by the actual value which we have read from the product.json file. Now these values are not hard coded. Here, the placeholders have been replaced with the property values of that particular product object. Okay, then again we have a comma and then we have the third element. So each of these elements of this array are actually HTMLs. We have HTMLs which are coded. So basically we have strings and in that string we have some HTML content. Now what we want is we want to combine these elements of this array which we are receiving here which this product HTML array is returning 
we want to join each elements of this array into a single value and to join elements of an array into a single value on that array we can use join method and to this join method we need to pass the separator so here the elements are separated by a comma so here we will pass comma as the separator or delimiter you can say and based on this this join method is going to join all the elements of this products html array so basically it is going to remove this comma from the array and it is going to join all the elements and it is going to return us a single value in this case it is going to return us a single string value and to check that save the changes let me clear the console here and let's run this app.js once more and let's go ahead and let's again make a request to this products page so we still see this response but now if i go to the vs code here you will notice that now instead of logging an array we are seeing some html content so basically all the elements of that array has been combined into a single html content we don't see any commas here and we want to send this html here as a response for the products page so let's go ahead and let's do that so first of all what i'm going to do is let me first remove this console.log statement and before sending the response first what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this html variable here and here in this html variable basically this html variable is storing this index.html in this index.html we have this placeholder called content so i want to replace this content for that on this html i can use this replace function and there i want to replace this content which we have inside this index.html as a placeholder with the html content which we are storing inside this product list html so here i will pass product list html dot join because here we want to join all the elements of this product list html array into a single string and we want to join it by comma and here let's go ahead and let's store the result in a variable let's call it maybe product response html and let's go ahead and let's return this html as a response so here instead of returning this text response now we are returning the html response let's save the changes here let's stop the server by pressing ctrl c and let's restart the server by running this node.js app let's go to the web page and let me refresh the page and here we don't see any content let's go back to vs code and it says product list html dot join is not a function that's because here we need to use this product html array because this is an array and we can use the join method on an array only so here it should be product html array with this let's save the changes and let's go ahead and let's run this app.js again let's go to the web page and let's again make the request to this products page and here we do get the html response but this html response is not rendered as we expected and that's because here if you notice we are setting the content type as application slash json that means here we are telling the browser that we are sending a json data and that's why the html response which we are sending from here that is treated as a json data and not as an html so here all we have to do is we have to change this content type to text slash html with this let's save the changes let's stop the server and let's restart the server let's go to the web page and now let's refresh the page and now you will notice that all the products are displayed here in this web page okay so here we transform this json data into a javascript object and then we are making use of that javascript object to display it in the web page from our node.js application this is all from this lecture if you have any questions from this lecture then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day